Hi, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can stream audio into LT Spice and out of LT Spice. So it's a fantastic way of testing audio circuits, seeing how your, your circuit might react to different component values. You can um, store the, you can get LT Spice to store the output wave files. So you can post analyze them, you can do FFT analysis, look at frequency responses, etc. It's relatively straightforward to do. All you have to do is set up the input voltage source to read in a WAV file rather than the boring old sine waves or noise, and then specify a WAV file um, as an output. So as a demonstration, we've got here a very simple circuit. It's an, it's an inverting amplifier. You should be familiar with this uh, configuration where you've got a single resistor feeding back to the input resistor on an op amp going into the inverting input. So this has a gain uh, that's uh, set by the ratio of R1 over R2. So the gain of this amplifier is going to be minus one, um, which is minus R1 over R2. We're not too bothered at this stage about the, uh, the inverting effect. We're just um, going to use this as a simple amplifier um, to amplify this input wave file and give us an output wave file. So what you do is you set up a voltage source um, just by adding components um, and if I type voltage, so that will be a voltage source there. You can bring that in and place it as I've, as I've done for the others. Um, and if you do a control right click, then it brings up this dialog. And you can see here, you should. Yeah, I've entered what into the value um, space, put wave file equals parentheses original 25.wav. That's my wav file. You can put a full path name in there if you like, but this wav file is going to exist in the same directory as the ASC file for, for LT Spice. This chan equals zero, this is specifying that it's just going to process the left channel of that wav file. If you wanted the right channel, then you set up an additional voltage source, give it the same WAV name and say Chan equals one. So that will give you a stereo stereo input. For the output, if you um, go to the SPICE directives and enter uh, dot wave and then specify a file name. Again, you can put a full path name in there. 16 bits, 44.1K. There are three sample rates you could choose from. Um, generally, 44.1 is, is absolutely fine, but if you want to run things a little bit quicker, you might want to choose a, a slower uh, sample rate. Um, so again, in order to get there, if you do uh, draft SPICE directive, or if there's already some there, just right click uh, on that, uh, on, on the text. Now for this, I've specified TRAN as two. So we're going to do a transient analysis for two seconds long. So let's start the analysis. And take a look at the output versus input waveform. There we go, that's the output. And that's overlaid with the input. So they're actually identical, but one is phase inverted, as we'd expect with the gain of, of minus one. So what happens if we increase the gain of this amplifier and rerun? Let's just try that. Take a look at the output versus the input. Lo and behold, we are seeing symmetrical clipping around about 0.7 volts and minus 0.7 volts. And this is due to the back-to-back -back diode arrangement we've got here. This is a clipping circuit, basic clipping circuit. This is kind of the thing you'd see within a uh, tube screamer. So what's nice is we can play around with this clipping circuit or we can add additional filters to shape the sound of our output before we actually build the, the circuit itself. 
So for example, if I delete, uh, oh, let's just delete one of these legs and rerun the uh, analysis. The output versus the input. What we'll see now is we have asymmetrical clipping. So it's clipped on the positive phase, but not uh, on the negative, um, which is pretty awesome if you want that kind of effect. What happens if we increase the gain? Let's go five times, rerun. Take a look at the output now. This is the input. Obviously, we're getting a lot bigger now on the negative swing, but we've still got this clipping point around 0.7 volts. Uh, okay, so that is LT Spy Streaming. Hopefully, um, you found that useful, and you'll have fun streaming audio in and out of your your audio circuit designs whether it be a tube screaming mock-up or mic pre. So have fun and uh, I'll see you in the next video.